up guys so we're just on the side of the road here and it's nice and overcast right now so good weather to hopefully flip some new Chris and so yeah just going to start flipping these stones and stuff and see if I can't find these guys Alright, first flip, but I'm not going to bother this guy too much, just a nice little oscillated gecko. You guys see these a lot in my videos though, so I'm not going to bother with this guy too much. He's got a little bit of a regrown tail there, but um, yeah, I'm just going to put his rock back and let him find his way back under. Well, I'll put him under and after I stop the video. <laughs> right under the stone is just the usual little raucous toad. But he looks nice and cozy, so I'm not gonna bother him or anything. Just gently place the rock back. And yeah, the spot looks promising, so I'm just gonna carry on and see if I can't find any. All right, nice, so after not finding anything for a really long time, I just flipped this really small little thread snake, which I have to take a closer look at it to get a completely positive ID, because these guys are really hard to identify. But you can see by the size of it, this thing is really tiny. And yeah, this is either a black or slender thread snake. But, um, yeah, those being the only two species that we find here. But, yeah, really cool. I'm just going to, after a couple in situ photos, I'm going to get this guy out and just show you really how small these guys are. Really cool. Alright, so I'm walking back on the path now because the weather, well, it's about to rain us out now. But yeah, you can see this absolutely tiny little thread snake, which I'll put the name right here if I, just on the screen, if I can ID it when I edit this video. But um, yeah, really cool little snakes, and they're pretty uncommonly seen just to their fossorial habits, meaning they burrow under the grounds, under the ground, and after rains and overcast days like this, they will sort of emerge more out from the rocks or they can just be found on little flat rocks like I found it under but yeah really cool little snakes and this doesn't look to be an adult obviously it's really small they can get probably about double the size maximum so yeah really cool little snakes and I'm going to head out of here before it get rained out and I might come back later to carry on looking for nucris and stuff but uh, yeah pretty cool Alright, so it is starting to rain now, but just thought we would quickly make a stop in this little sandy area here. And I just picked up this black western rock skink, but I'm going to just get some quick hand shots of him because there is water all over my phone now, and so yeah, now it's really starting to pour. So we're going to head out of here quickly. Cool. Okay, nice. So the rain's actually chill, sort of calmed down a bit, and I just found the other sort of variation of the Western rock skink. This is more of a strike variation. You can't really see it too well, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, found the other one just over there under a rock. I'm just gonna put this guy underneath his rock and out of this sort of drizzle. There he goes. Cool. All right. So after getting pretty rained out. Um, I'm back here looking for some more nucris, and I just flipped these rocks so I know what's under them. Um, and just check this out. I'm going to get ready to grab it because they are pretty fast. But there it is. He's not actually moving right now, his head is underground. So let me just gently get him here without dropping his tail as well. But awesome, yeah, he has a little. Scalotes. So yeah, this is the Cape Dwarf Burrowing Skink. And you can see they've got these tiny forelimbs, which they don't really even use. As you can see the other ones are just kind of tucked. And 
yeah because these guys are foster oil lizards but yeah this is really cool i'm just gonna bring them out to my open area so you can't really get away yeah but yeah there he is and yeah they don't even really use their limbs and they've got these tiny three toes just on the back of the limbs there. But you can't even really even see the third one. But you got really cool little lizards and nice find. I'm going to get some photos and then carry on. Right, so I just got another fine chair and not as cool as the Scalotes, but a very cozy little rockers toad in his burrow so yeah I'm not gonna bother this guy you can see he is just happy as ever in his little burrow so I'm just gonna put his rock back and leave him to it nice little common sand lizard just chilling in that burrow over there but once again not the mucris I am looking for so I'm not gonna bother this guy too much more just some quick pictures and then put him back in his little burrow. Cool. Alright, so I just got a nice little double flip under this rock. As you can see here, this big Pleoplanus, common sand lizard, and then this little oscillated gecko. Which is oscillated gecko is a female. You can tell by the um, calcium sacs on the side of the neck. So it's pretty cool, but I'm just gonna let this girl be on her way. Just move her out of the way of the stone quickly. And then she can just go back under. And this Pedoplanus is actually really plump looking. <laughs> um, and yeah, she looks to actually be gravid. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Right, so right next to where Oscillated gecko and common sand lizard. I just got a nice. Oh, it has gone down a burrow. You can see just the tip of its tail there. Nice sort of sub adult western sandfield lizard. Not the nucleus I was looking for, but still pretty cool. I'm just going to grab this guy and give you a closer look. Alright, so here it is. So I'm just going to gently get this guy out without it dropping its tail or anything. And there we go. That's nice. So yeah, this is not the Nucris I was looking for, but this is actually a Western Sandfield lizard, Nucris tessellata. So it's still really cool. These guys are much brighter in colour than the other one I was looking for. And so really cool, but I see quite a bit of these guys. Um, now and yeah, they're not nearly as rare as the other species, but still really cool. And I'm going to get some photos of this guy and then put it back underneath its rock. Cool. Okay, so I'm back here the next day now, and just under a rock over here, I just got this nice little juvenile cute pygmy gecko, and yeah, this is. Just a small one, they can get about double the size. But um, yeah, pretty cool. I'm just gonna get some in hand shots and then put them back underneath this stone. Alright, so the sun's just come out now, but it was pretty much raining a second ago. And you can see I just got this angry variegated skink, Trachylepis variegata. So really cool. Yeah, but these are really common, really pretty common skinks. I don't get them too much here, but. Um, a pretty cool find and I'm just gonna get some quick photos and then carry on sort of flipping stones and looking for those nucris. Cool. Alright so I just got some pretty cool finds. Um, my brother actually just found this western sandfield lizard on the right here. Nice big adult but um, it looks really cool and then I flipped under that rock over there this Trachylepis, which I'm not completely sure which species it is, but I'll put it on the screen here right now um, once I'm editing this video and I have more of a 
show ID. And then in my hand here, you can see just right there, it's actually sort of like a piece of a thread snake, which I just flipped underneath that rock over there with this trachylepis, which <laughs> this guy must have eaten it or something like that, um, or something else preyed on it, like a scorpion or something like that, because they are pretty vulnerable little snakes, but um, yeah, some cool finds, and I'm going to photograph these guys really quickly. Cool. So I was actually about to photograph this western sandfield lizard on the left here, and then I actually just caught here this common sand lizard that my brother also found. Um, yeah, it's actually a heavily gravid one, like the last one I saw yesterday. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I'll also get some photos of that guy quickly and then release them back. Alright, cool. So I just double flipped these two common sand lizards. These really nice ones, actually. They've got these nice luminescent sort of green spots on the side there and that sort of red marking that extends up to the lip down to this sort of the flank and yeah these are really cool lizards that move actively when it's nice and sunny sunny which it's overcast now so they that's why they will be underneath these rocks but um yeah the really cool lizards that i catch pretty often and they are pretty true to their name you can see them really often and so the heats of the day running from bush to bush but it's cool lizards and I'm gonna get some quick pictures and carry on alright so there's a lot of small rocks to flip here so I'm just gonna take a quick time lapse from sort of the first person view of flipping them and see if I can't find anything on the camera <laughs> So as you just saw there, I flipped for quite a while and what I expected to find is this little guy. So this is the common banded gecko and I haven't showed these guys much in my videos as you saw in I think one of my previous videos. Um, I caught my third and fourth ones of these. So yeah, this is only the fifth one I've ever caught, so pretty cool. And yeah, just in the sandy flat, it's really nice. And after a couple photos, I'm going to continue the time lapse flipping and see what else I can catch. So I've had to stop herping for a while now. I was way over there, and I've just lost my torch, just realized now, somewhere on this plateau where I've been hoping for like the last half hour to an hour so I'm still searching and I'm gonna see if I can find it. Uh, yeah this is gonna be fun. Alright cool so here are those blind snakes that I double flipped on a rock just up by the plateau. Um, yeah these are really cool snakes there are fossorial so they'll burrow into the ground and that's where they kind of get their name they've got these little beaks just on the just on their heads there and that's just used for burrowing and these guys are aren't actually really blind they just have very bad vision because you can see their eyes are sort of underneath their skin there are those little black dots just at the tip of the head there um, but yeah I'm gonna quickly get some photos of these guys and then just put them back but you can see the second you put them on the ground they just want to go so they're really difficult to photograph all right cool so just over here by this sort of wet area just managed to turn up these two cool little cacos I'll get a 
positive ID on these guys later, but um, yeah, these are either the bronze caca or the um, butcher's caca. Only two species we get here, and yeah, these are really cool little frogs. And I'll just let that guy go. But like most cacos, they've got that really nice dotted sort of belly. So yeah, really cool. I'm just gonna get some quick cell phone pictures and then put them back in their little sort of seepage. All right, second find. Just um, a raucous toad. These guys are really common, and you can see they're really large toads. This is about as big as they'll get. And. Yeah, this will be the last find of the night. It was just a quick um, night walk, shine around this vegetation here, see what I could find. But uh, yeah, cool.